we wanted to give you a tour of San Juan Merritt University. Uh, we're just going to show you where we study, where we hang out, where we eat lunch, all the good stuff. Okay, come on, let's go. So first things first, we need our badge to enter. Very secure. through here is sometimes this area is, look, is known as the dungeon. Um, it's like the basement part of our building. Uh, it's a lot like a dungeon because um, you don't have too much light coming through. <laughs> yeah, so it's, for the most part, it's pretty quiet. Um, Best place to focus. I think there's a lot of physical therapy students and nurses, nursing students that take their classes down here. And I'm pretty sure some second years for the podiatric program, take your classes in here too. Okay, and this is what one of the classrooms look like. We're just looking for an empty classroom right now to show you guys. See. Oh, no, lot. Okay. Maybe you can show them the computer lab down here. Oh, yeah. Let's sometimes, just show we, them. sometimes we study over here. Okay. Yeah, so this, this area is like a maze. Um, I get lost little, in it all the time. Yeah, it can get a little confusing. <laughs> So let's turn on the lights. Uh, Is there any lights? Okay. Very cool. Yeah, so this is the computer lab down here. Um, it's great because we normally don't have any distractions down here. We could get anything we want printed out. Um, and yeah, best place to focus. Yeah. Whiteboard, tables, computers, free printing, which is awesome. So, yeah, this is a great study area. So, found a classroom. Um, let's see how it looks. Yeah, so, this is a small little classroom, but usually... It's good for group study. If yeah. you want that, you could just project any lectures up there while we're studying together. Yeah, so, like, just a few students usually stay in this room, but right now it's pretty empty because we're recording this during the weekend, but... It's a, it's a pretty nice room. Yeah. So, here we're gonna show you guys one more thing for this dungeon Let's area. Show Let's show them the um, little lounge area that students oh. hang out at to the right. <laughs> we don't even know the school. <laughs> I'm not familiar with the school, so we'll leave it until one semester. <laughs> yeah, so. Oh, is that open? Oh. Cool. So yeah, this is a student lounge. Uh, there is, uh, what is it called? Uh, coffee maker. Coffee maker, uh, refrigerators where you can store your food, microwaves, and just sitting area. And again, computer, printer, free printing again. Uh, and this is a really chill area because a lot of students just stay in this area during lunchtime, talk, chill. Uh, microwave their food and they usually just go from this area to one of the classrooms that we showed you guys and just study and eat so it's a really it's a really convenient way to just get everything done coming from the upstairs classrooms down here yeah and again everything's pretty accessible I mean we could if you wanted to you could study in here if you wanted to you could socialize and you could eat okay. so let's take you guys back where we came from um, and show you where we take our classes. Yep, parking structure, nice view of it. 
Hopefully our uh, classes are oh. can open the doors to our classrooms. Okay. Let's see. You always get a nice view from Oakland. This is cool. Where do you want to go? We can we can show this first. If you're ever in between classes, this is the floor of your class you on. You could just study here and again relax, socialize. Uh, I mostly use it to study in between classes. Do you want to? No. So we can't we can't go into the classrooms. I'm pretty sure. Okay. But this is this area right here is we usually call it the mob mob, and this is where we take most of our classes at. Um, unfortunately, we can't open the doors to our classrooms right now because it is the weekend. But we can try. Probably this one. Maybe this one. Let's see. Is there, is there people in there? Oh. Oh well. No. <laughs> so we can show you some. You can some of the classes the through the window. Yeah. Yeah, so this is a good shot. So this is what our classrooms look like. So we have round tables and the whole purpose of the round tables is to promote well, learning yeah. between group us. Study. Yeah, group studying, uh, just group learning and just uh, holding everyone accountable to some of the studying sessions that we do or some of the learning sessions we do with our teachers and our fellow peers. So yeah, so this is just, this hallway, it's just basically like a box with just classrooms all around. Yeah. And there's usually different types of uh, programs that come here and do their classes. So yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. The circular tables are different, but they, they do help in a different way than what we're used to. But I like it. It's, it's nice to get to see all our peers and we're almost all at the same level because we're not separated by rows. Well, I don't know, I like it. Okay. Going up to where you're getting it? Yeah. Okay. We're now in the area that if you're interviewing, you would be coming up to, but also this is where we have a lot of our exam reviews, where we look over what was incorrect and what was correct, and just kind of see if we want to argue for some points. Um, do you want to go inside? I don't know if we're allowed okay, to. Okay, then let's not do Let's that. just not take the risk, but okay. yeah, so this area is where all of the faculty members are usually at. And if we ever have any questions to ask them, such as just office hours questions or homework questions, we just go usually in here and get that all sorted out with our teachers. This is the bookstore where we come for a lot of our supplies that are needed for classes. Yeah, so recently we just grabbed um, a big supply drop with uh, just different utensils. Uh, Pretty much all of the instruments that we yeah. will need to use in our career. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> yeah, simple and short. Okay. So this is where we come to study sometimes. Um, it can be a little a little more casual in that there's more people here, but it's still it's still a nice change from the classrooms if you want to study. Is that open? Okay, um so okay. <laughs> this is the patio. Um, it usually looks a lot nicer, it's just a rainy day, but I love coming out here to take a fresh breath of air and it's a nice break from everything during the day. Um, it's nice to see the sunset from here. It's just overall a nice place to relax.
Okay, so this is again another lounge area just right below where we just came from and this is where a lot of people also study. Um, it's like business executive seating. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's really relaxing. It's, it's pretty warm in here. It's nice. So there's so far there's been multiple study areas in this building that we're in. It's called Peralta where we take all of our classes at. So Yeah, so thankfully we have a good amount of choices when we want to study. So we can change it up. So let's go. Let's continue this journey. This is where we go for our anatomy labs. Uh, this is the entrance to the building. Uh, right, right now, we're we're not allowed to film or do anything down there. So this is as much as we can give you. But just to give you an idea of it, it's we go downstairs. It's like a little bunker area. We have a bunch of lockers, we put our stuff in there, change it to our scrubs and get into the lab and then just work on the cadavers that fortunately that we have plenty of and we can learn from them and just really dissect them and just for our class purposes. So, Yeah, one of our favorite things about the anatomy lab is personally why I even chose, a huge reason I chose a school was because we only have uh, four people per cadaver and I really like that because we get as much time as we can. Um, we each have a lot of opportunities to dissect. Yeah, so that's pretty much what we can give you. So there's not much to it. So yeah. let's move on and keep, continue the tour. there and it's really safe because again you need your card and to enter here we are we're in the building where this is the library i'm not going to go in there right now because there is people studying in there right now but this whole area is pretty much a big lounge this whole second floor there's three floors to this building uh, yeah, so the third floor and the, the third floor and the first floor in the classrooms. And the second floor usually has just a bathroom area. There is a hallway we should show you that we usually study out. So let's, let's show them. All right. Some students studying in there right now, but this area is just a big hallway. We won't be talking a lot from here. So we're just going to show you different parts of this area and just say a little bit of things here and there. But it's just go through so this is a computer lab um, this is where we get a lot of our printing done as well uh, this is where people study at so it's in this nice hallway where everyone's usually quiet and it's usually warm in here so it's a pretty nice area to stay quiet and just study and just get all your work done or if you want to take a nap yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, so we just came from the hallway over there. We just made our way around here. And so this is another study area for a lot of students. It has, uh, it's a pretty big lounge area. So talking is permitted here. So it can get a bit noisy, but overall it's a good study area. And it's just a nice area too. We have study. a lot of our conferences down there. We also have something that, it's, it's a lab where we conduct a lot of research and experiments. Um, if we're interested. 
So now we're in the third floor of the library building. So this is where some, some we take one of our classes here, uh, physiology, uh, for this semester. Um, and there is different classes that are held here. There's only a few, few classrooms here. Uh, let's see if this is over. Nope. Okay, well, let's see if this is open. So, yeah. So this is our physiology class, or this is where we take our physiology class. Um, sometimes when this classroom is open, a lot of students come up here to just to study to get away from sometimes the overcrowded library. So it's a it's a really nice area, a really nice place to study at. Uh, it's very convenient because right down the hallway from here we have our school gym. This is our gym. Uh, this area is pretty cool. I love going to this area, as you can tell mm -hmm. by the way I dress. Um, this area is where also students after lunch, or during lunch, come here, eat. There is a Brita over here. Um, we can refill the water. Another fridge. Uh, microwave, microwave. So you have everything here that you will need. It's like a kitchen, uh, you can do whatever you want here, warm up your food and everything. And it's always safe to keep food in the fridge as well, I've, I've done that before. So, yeah. it's convenient. And we also have lockers. Yeah, so a lot of these lockers you can use to put your backpacks in, or put your backpacks, uh, anything, any just any bags or valuables that you can put in there. And usually I put my stuff in the lockers and this takes me to here. To the gym area. Uh, it's a it's a pretty small gym, but it, it gets, gets the job done. done. So yeah. you have leg press, pull down, squat rack, ellipticals, uh, bike exercise bikes, and just kettlebells, kettlebells, outer ropes, pull ups, dumbbells. You have everything in here, and I don't think. There's anything to complain about it, about this gym. It's just, it's just a very convenient gym. Sometimes it can get crowded, but overall, it's a it's a pretty good dip gym, and you can get everything mm -hmm. done. Here. Yeah, and it's great because, um, like he does a lot, you can take a break between studying. You can take a break between studying because it's right here, right next to all of our classrooms or the library. 